Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where we're going to be discussing some common misconceptions about watercolor brush pens. Alright, so let's get started. So the first misconception about these watercolor brush pens is that they are an alternative to other um, alcohol-based ink markers or even water-based brush markers, for example, Copic markers. Some people have been trying to use these watercolor markers on just normal drawing paper and kind of substitute them, but that is not what they're meant for. So these markers are actually watercolor markers, which means they're meant to be used like watercolors. You're, you should be using them on um, paper that's meant for watercolors. And while it is true that you can use them on normal drawing paper, that's a reality like you could use um, watercolor paint on drawing paper. It's just, it's not going to really turn out really pretty. It's not going to look right. That's not really what it was made for. So you should be using these markers on watercolor um, paper and treating them um, like they're watercolors and not like any other markers. They have their unique um, way to be using them. So I'm going to kind of discuss that later in this video as well. Alright, so now these next misconceptions aren't really misconceptions. They're just sort of some mistakes that people may make when using these markers just due to like a lack of knowledge about how to use watercolors or what watercolor really is as a medium. So I'm just going to give you a quick explanation of watercolor. So um, you can look it up on Google and Google will tell you that um, watercolor is a noun and it is artist paint made with water soluble binder such as gum arabic and thinned with water rather than oil giving a transparent color. So um, you may not really get much of a takeout out of that definition but that's kind of what it is so it is not like other paint that it's kind of meant to be thick or saturated it's meant to be thinned out with water and kind of have a more of a pastel or kind of um, desaturated tone to it. So um, where the misconception kind of comes into this is that if you try to use these markers just straight onto watercolor paper, you may find that it's really dry and not a lot of tone is really coming out of the marker unless you like kind of work it out by like, you know, going over it multiple times. And that's totally normal, that's how it's supposed to be. So um, what's happening is uh, with watercolor, there are certain techniques that um, people use, for example, wet on wet uh, or um, dry on wet. So if you're just using these markers um, straight up, they're kind of, initially they're dry. So what, what that means is that like the brush itself has a little bit of ink on it, but it's not very watered out to the point where where you use it, it's gonna kind of work like a watercolor. What you need to do first is add water to it. So that's where the um, watercolor uh, water brush pen comes into play. So if you simply just dip that uh, colored pen into the water brush tip, you're kind of adding water to that um, brush tip. And when you use it, it's gonna come out a lot more smooth and not as dry as it would before. And then now that I have this water brush pen which is loaded with ink, I can also use that to paint as well. So you can see the kind of um, balancers between these two tools. One of them kind of starts off light and then continues to get darker because it is loaded with that um, ink, that colored ink. And the other one starts off dark and then continues to get lighter because it's loaded with the water. So the water kind of acts as your white or not necessarily your white, I guess I should say. It's really just allowing that white of your paper to kind of come through because obviously the water is transparent. So the more water you have mixed in with your ink, the more the white of the paper will be able to come through. So these are just some basic concepts of watercolor that I wanted you guys to know. And if you're a beginner, do not worry at all. I know it may, may seem kind of complicated or kind of hard to get started, but it's really amazing that you're here watching this video and um, if you continue to uh, watch the videos from Bright Crown, we'll have a lot of really basic and easy tutorials that you'll be able to use. So don't worry, you're already on your way to learning watercolor. Just keep practicing and stick with it and you're going to get a lot better. And wow, that just turned into an inspirational speech, so I'm going to stop. So now you may be thinking, 
great big deal with you these are watercolor markers why do i need to buy these markers instead of just buying watercolor traditional watercolor tubes or a palette so um now i'm just going to go over this as the third misconception which is that these markers are exactly like traditional watercolor which is not true while they are very similar they also have uh, a unique function and they are kind of a unique tool within themselves so I'm just gonna kind of compare um, using watercolor brush markers to traditional watercolor so first off when you're using traditional watercolor you're gonna need to have a palette of paint of some sort whether you already have like the hardened um, watercolor in that palette or you use two watercolor you're gonna have to set up some sort of palette but if you have watercolor brush pens, it's kind of as if you already have um, your colors loaded onto those brushes and they're just ready for you to use at any time. Um, with traditional watercolor, if you want to use a color on the same brush, you're going to have to wash the brush off, you know, make sure that color is not left on it, or you know, have multiple different brushes that you're using. But if you want to use the same size brush, it might be kind of difficult to switch colors. It will take you a lot of time to do that but when you're using watercolor brush pens each color is just sitting there in that marker so you kind of have 24 different colors on 24 different brushes just ready for you to, for you to use at any time so that kind of adds to the convenience of using these um, marker pens um, another factor uh, about traditional watercolor is that it can get really messy you're gonna have to have like at least a couple jars of water around you uh, paper towels, all that to kind of clean up the mess of the paint and the water. But with watercolor brush pens, that ink is just sitting inside the barrel of the marker and inside of your water brush. And as long as you're kind of not going too crazy with applying the water to your paper, you shouldn't have much of a mess. So also with traditional watercolor, as I mentioned before, you have the palette of paint, you need to get those jars of water, fill them up with water, um, lay out your paint into your palette if it's not already there. Um, all these things that take time to do. And you know, some people are just lazy or they don't have the time to get that all done. I mean, if you're sitting down to draw and you have like maybe 10, 20 minutes, it's kind of hard to get all your stuff ready and then start painting. So um, that's another factor that makes the watercolor brush pen so easy and convenient is that all you have to do is open up the case and your markers are ready. As long as your water brush is filled and um, the markers are there, you got your paper, everything's there, you're ready to start and that just makes it really easy. And um, this also makes it great for um, taking it traveling somewhere because it's so portable and light. So putting all of that into consideration, the takeaway from this video is just that these watercolor brush pens are not Copic markers or you know, Crayola markers that you're just meant to color with. They're more of a painting tool that you're meant to paint with. And also, they're not exactly watercolor, uh, traditional watercolor. They're kind of their own tool in themselves. And that's why um, I recommend these, mainly for uh, beginners or just anyone who likes to have a quick setup or needs to like travel with their watercolors. Um, this set is really great for beginners because it's kind of teaching you the watercolor skills you need. Kind of having an awareness of your brush and the amount of water, how saturated the tone is. And just learning like some control with using the brush um, is something that you can do really easily with this set without having to worry about having all the different sizes of brush or different um, kind of tools that you may need when you're using. Uh, traditional watercolor so that's all I have to say in this video and if you stuck to it through the end I'm really happy that you did that thank you so much and um, just leave a comment below on what kind of tutorial video you'd be interested in seeing for using these watercolor markers um, here on this bright crown watercolor uh, channel we're gonna be putting out a few videos for you guys so just let us know what type of techniques or tricks you'd be interested in learning and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.